man, some of you are crazy. God. So it seems like yesterday's video brought out the social justice warriors of the channel. I love you guys. I do. You're very important to me. Love it or hate it, you are on camera a thousand times a day. If you do have the opportunity to ask not to be on camera, nobody has to respect it. But if they do want to be respectful and accept your request, you better make sure you come respectfully. Otherwise, nah. I was told that I could have lied to make the situation a little bit better, which just makes no sense to me whatsoever. And I was also told I should have just done it anyway and I'm really showing my true colours. <laughs> you got me. Bitch, I've always been truthful on this channel. No matter how I act, no matter how I speak, no matter what I do, that is me. I'm not hiding anything. I did nothing wrong yesterday. At all. But I knew the video was going to be polarising, so... Thank you guys, I appreciate you. Well, we've got a couple of sales going out today. We're going to start off with Vinted for £2.22. pence. We have sold Alphabet Law F. Massive money. Paid 20p from that from a car boot sale. What's going out next? For £3.33, pence, we've sold the Carhartt t-shirt. A little bit of a mark on the front, which is why I priced it so cheaply. We've got a note. Hey, Ricky, love the videos. You got my dad trying to resell, but he just seems to buy a load of old tat. But we watched the videos together, and he would love a shout-out. His name is Paul. Big up to you, Paul. And to you too, Billy. I appreciate it, mate. Billy and Paul. What a cracking father and son name duo that is. Billy and Paul. Now, I've got a sale here that I'm actually not going to do anything with at the moment. Oh, I can't anyway. I can't anyway. So for £12 and 12... I've never seen this before in my life. For £12 and 12 pence, we've sold the Hugo Boss tweed jacket. So that can actually go back, in, back into the box for now because I've never seen this before. It says... Pending balance. The buyer's payment is processing. This may take up to one business day. I've never seen that before. Ever. So I guess we will just let that one sit and chill for a bit. I just realised I didn't have the microphone on. So you little social justice warriors out here, when you pipe up about certain things, she could have been this, she could have been that, should have, could have, would have. Yeah, if we lived our life like that, we'd never get anywhere in life. But at the same time, you watch every other video of mine or many of them, whatever, you've obviously been here before, and you watch other people who do the same stuff as me, advocating for what I do and what we do, you enjoy the shows, or you watch for any other reason which gives you some kind of kick, and you're absolutely fine with it, until somebody decides to make a scene, and then you're not okay with it, but you're going to support it all the other times. Take a look at yourselves, oh my goodness. It's getting cold in this garage already. Which is why you fall under the SJW bracket ebay's a little bit dead at the moment but i haven't been listing much to be fair i've got, I've got, I've got to be honest little message popped up get free one-to-one -one support with seller clinics get out of it box k have i, got, have I picked that i have yeah 10 pounds 95 we've sold the dyson attachment head and that is over here sold this morning on the way to take ada to preschool is this phillips of axminster fishing shooting chair Paid £2.75, was it? Sold for £15 all in. And I've still got to pack up that St. Michael's tray. I haven't done that yet. I've half packed it. I'll get those packed up. But yeah, listen. Getting comments like, you're showing your true colours. And you should have just respected her wishes. You lot aren't even looking at the situation. And you must be the kinds of people that would just roll over and accept it when someone tells you that they are about to exploit your rights. Then you just say, okay, no problem. In fact, a lot of you did a few years ago. You have rights in this world. If we don't if, if we don't exercise our rights, then we will lose them. Use them or lose them. And in this case, it was something so small and so minor as filming at a car boot sale. It would have been fine if she would have just said to me, I don't really want to be on camera. I would have been like, yeah, no drama. But it was the attitude from the beginning. And then when she started banging out, I've got my rights, that's when it became an issue for me. That's when it became a point where I was like, now I need to take very small action against your false claim. You don't have rights in public, and you don't, not to privacy. Of course, it does come down to morals, standards, and all those kinds of things, and in the hundreds of videos I've done, there has been issues, you would never have known about them because I would have cut them out of the video or blurred them, and you would never have seen the footage because that person would have handled it a thousand times better than this woman. I knew as soon as I picked up the item, don't open it, please don't open it. I thought, oh, here we go. Then I asked her how much the price was, and the price was, have you got your camera on? Well, that's a funny price. 
I wish I could pay for my bills with have you got your camera on because I'd be a millionaire. So, shut the fuck up. Well, I'm going to get these packed up and then I'll be back. We are going to go to the Chazza today, even though it's absolutely pissing it down. I still want to go. Because I need to drop these parcels off anyway, so. Actually, before I go anywhere, the Wizard of Claus sent me a parcel. He said, I've got a few bits knocking around that I really want to send you to help you with your gym journey. Do you mind? I said, go ahead, my brother. Go ahead. I appreciate it. He sent me, they're all new with tags, an Adidas t-shirt. And everybody knows dark is my colour when it comes to the gym. In fact, there's two of those. There's no point in me getting that one out as well. And some 2008 Jordan popper joggers. How cool are they, man? So massive, massive, massive shout out to the Wizard of Claus. We actually watched the Wizard of Oz last night, the old version. Come on, cracker. First time Ada sat for a whole film, if I'm honest. But yeah, massive shout out to the Wizard of Claus over on all platforms. Go and check them out. Mate, I do appreciate you. Some good t-shirts there. I always run out of gym t-shirts. Well, let's get packed up. What, my pickle? Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Good. How's everybody else, including Ada? Oh, lovely. Thank you. Loves it. Absolutely loves it. Yeah, she's a she's a massive nerd. <laughs> That's the kids, I think. Mm. I like it. Katmandu for a four. I'll have that. Stinky Primark, they do. Stinky Primark. Next. Somebody said I should have picked that up last time. It's a nice set, I think. Morning, morning. How are you, my dear? Yeah, getting there, thank you. Getting there sounds good to me. Yeah, poor Trisha's got COVID. Oh, God. Yeah, oh. she she's been feeling well all week and did a test on Saturday, went and got a test. COVID's the new cold and flu, you, she'll be alright. Yeah, she'll be alright. She'll be alright. <laughs> Here's a walk compared to meerkat statues. Morning. Meerkat seeing. Hello mate, you alright? You alright, thank you. Good. I'm going to buy this because I'm feeling cold. Yeah. And after that I will donate it back. No, I don't think they're like compared to meerkats, they're just meerkats. Sneaky, sneaky in the shirt section. I'll only list that for a fiver. Engineers. Lloyd Baker. Is that Ted Baker's brother? Shoulder bag, that's pretty much what that is. Which is it? It's three quid on the door. <laughs> nah. Should have looked at that first, shouldn't I? I was looking at this just the other day. It's quite cheap, but there's a fair bit missing. I think it's like eight quid or ten quid. Ten quid. Oh my. Fifteen. Right. I'll go and check the other one out if that's looking in good condition with other them. We call those kinds of charity shop trips a top-up trip. Just tops up the store a little bit. Let me show you what I've got. I've done some research into this nice little cool box. The classic vintage colours, the browns and the creams. It's got a section there for you to be able to put a little tap on it, I do believe, from the pictures that I found. I also believe it to be by St Michael, Marks and Spencers. Alongside that, we've got this really nice set of wooden dominoes. I don't know exactly what the wood is. I'm sure I'll be able to find out. Quite expensive for what I'd like to pay for something like that, but I just thought I'd have a nice little little gamble on that one. They're just lovely and nicely done. So I thought we'd take a chance on that. I haven't looked this up yet, but I actually wanted it for myself because of what it says it does. Fun fiber string mousse. Apply a little bit to your hands, rub it in and have creative styles all day. I need hair products that I can rework throughout the day. because I'm constantly putting my hood up, putting my hood down, picking up Ada, do you know what I mean? And it just needs to be easily reworked. Then for a fiver, we've got a Kathmandu Safari shirt. Really nice. Think of Rohan, think of Brasher, all those kinds of brands. Kathmandu, paid a fiver. Should be looking at about 15 to 18 pounds. Then this Nike jacket, just a funky bunch of patterns. 
It's a size medium, very sort of silky feeling. It's got a kangaroo pouch. It's got a, well, no, it's not. It's not even a kangaroo pouch. It's an air vent sort of thing there with kangaroo pouch pockets running through here. So the pockets are those cross ones, but there's nothing dipping into the top. It's on that red label, size medium, £4.50. So it's actually cheaper than the Captain Blue shirt. I reckon I'll probably get the same money for that. So there we go, some nice little pickups. I'm going to spend the day taking millions of photographs and I want to boost that eBay store and get that eBay store back up and running again. So hopefully we can get the sales on that trickling back through again properly because I've neglected it. It's not even like I haven't got the stuff. I've got tons of it. We got tons of stuff to list. Tons and tons. That's all listed. This is all listed. Some of it, apart from that, that and that and that. This top shelf here is unlisted up to here. And then that's all listed. I need to get cracking. See you in a bit. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. See you on the next one. Ta-da. Are you filming me? Go away!